Buzurg Meher Safura says the hardest part of his job is getting people interested in classical music. It makes it more difficult to find work. We have fewer fans, so naturally we have fewer opportunities to perform. Still, Safura says he loves his work and does not need the money. The streets are not a bad place to perform. It's a place where you can change the way people feel for a second, a minute, or an hour, and you get back a lot of positive energy from the street. But not everyone on the streets is there by choice. Saeed makes about $5 a day selling flowers, 15 when business is good. With eight mouths to feed, he says, it's better than nothing. I have a diploma, but I don't have a job. My cousin has a master's degree, and he doesn't have a job either. The situation in the country is bad. Officials should do something. They give lots of promises, and we vote for them, and then they take office and forget us. Saeed wants the same as millions of Iranians. A house he can afford, a steady job, and cheaper prices for everyday goods. But he's not hopeful that things will get better anytime soon. Big cities like Tehran are experiencing a real estate boom. Luxury buildings and luxury brands are popping up on almost every major street. But the very urban development that is bringing the rich and poor closer together is the same thing that is pushing them apart. For the last 50 years, the status of our people's financial situation has been getting better. What is harmful is the gap that's being created between poor and rich people. And that self-awareness that is being created in the middle class of the society is more dangerous than poverty itself. We don't have people who are deeply poor like other countries, but the gap between the poor and rich people makes the feeling of being held back more extreme. It's the kind of discontent that helped fuel anti-government protests last month and could be the impetus for more unrest in the future. Muhammad is from the north of the country. He came to Tehran to make enough money to send home to his wife, sister, and mother. He doesn't like what he does and makes, at most, only $10 a day doing it. What should I say? I haven't seen my family in a month. I haven't paid my rent or the gas bill or the power bill or the water bill. I'm not able to earn enough money. Business is bad, so people don't pay us. Muhammad sings us a song that many Iranians know all too well, about a man who is tired, desperate, and praying for help. Zain Basravi Al Jazeera, Tehran.